Hey guys, it's Max, and we're back with Battlecode 2015. This time, let's assess the question of how many miners to build, if any. First, let's look at a match to see the rate at which those units mine. We're going to try to see the difference between the beaver and the miner. So here's a beaver. I had it set its indicator string to the amount of ore beneath it so that I could assess the mining rate. So on round 1, it has 10 ore. On round two, it has nine and a half. On round three, it still has nine and a half. So on round four, it's mined again, but the amount that it mined is decreased somewhat. So we see that it mines 1 20th of the ore that's on the tile each turn. Well, not quite. That's each round that it actually mines, and it only mines one out of every two rounds. So you can see that the amount that it mines is decaying. That's one of the good reasons why you shouldn't continue mining until the tile is completely depleted because in general you'll be wasting your robots time. I set an arbitrary limit that they'll move on once the ore amount is less than one. Let's continue this match until we see some miners. Okay here's one and then let's back up a little bit. Again on the first tile that this miner is produced the ore beneath it is 10. On the next turn, it's 7.5, so we see that the mining rate is much, much faster for a miner than it is for a beaver. 2.5, that's a lot, but again, it decays, so it's only mining one quarter of what's there. You didn't have to run this simulation, uh, this match, in order to know the answer to this question. In fact, the answers are all provided in the documentation. So in your install, there's a folder called doc and a file called constantValues.html. Let's look at that. In this file, you can see we've got minor mine rate. Now, this constant is accessible from your robot player. All you have to do is type game constants dot, and then you'll have it there, minor, say, mine rate, or something like that. Um, so you can use this as part of your code, or you can just use it for reference, like we're doing now. So the minor mine rate is four, and that's a confusing number. It means it'll mine one quarter of the tile that's one quarter of the ore that's there. However, that's subject to a maximum of three ore per mining round, or a minimum of 0 0.2. The beaver has a different rate, so its mine rate is 1 20th, as we saw, and that's at most two and at least 0 0.2 as the other one. With these pieces of information we can make an approximate model so that we can try to assess how many to build. So I've made this model in Mathematica. What I'm going to do is set the number of beavers to be mining this amount. So I'm saying that beavers mine 0 0.5 per turn. Now sometimes it'll be higher than that, sometimes it could even be up to 2, but I'm setting it to 0 0.5. The um, miners, I'll say, will mine two and a half per turn. Now, sometimes it could be up to four, but I'll set it to two and a half. This gets an idea of the relative mining rates of the two. The absolute values is not that important. Okay. So then we'll set this and run the simulation. So in this simulation, this player is building beavers without limit. It'll try to build them up until infinity. And so you can see it produces them at a constant rate. That's this plot here. And as a result, the ore is going up, um, I guess, quadratically. There's a subtraction every time a beaver is produced. So that's exactly what we expect. In this model, we can also change the number of miners that it can build. So let's try building a miner factory and building up to as many miners as we want. So now we can see that things have changed somewhat. Interesting. What we really want to do is compare the case where we're building the miners versus not building them. Note that this model takes into account the fact that there's a beaver who's busy constructing in the, mi in the case where he's building miners, and it keeps track of the number of miner factories and their cooldown delays. So it's a pretty complete model. So we can compare these two. Let's compare the case where we've built two miner factories up to a total of 50 maximum miners and only 10 beavers in blue versus the case where there are 30 beavers and no miners at all in red. Let's see the result. 
Okay, there's a lot here, so let's go through it. We can see that the blue case, which builds two minor factories and 50 maximum miners, has less ore than the red case in its stockpile until round 300 or so, at which point it starts to surpass the other team. That kind of makes sense, because it has to spend some extra money on these investments, which only pay off after some time has passed. After that time has passed, you can see that the mining rate for the team that builds miners is absolutely demolishing the team that only build beavers. It's just no comparison. Look at that, about 70 versus about 10. So this is a really clear demonstration of the power of building miners, and I think you're going to find that you'll be economically way too far behind to catch up if you don't build any. Okay. Well, I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.